Hi everybody, Scott Card here. Today I have for you a quick video about using object snaps or O snaps in AutoCAD. All right, welcome back. Uh, so what we have here is uh, a couple lines in a circle and uh, maybe maybe we want to pick out some specific pieces of geometry uh, here. Uh, for example, uh, this this uh, this circle when we created it, we we created it using a, a circle that was uh, tangent to uh, two sides and was had was given a radius, so uh, tangent tangent radius. And you'll notice that when we when we hover over one of the lines, uh, this little green uh, circle with a line on it appears. And th this is the symbol for, for tangent, okay? So in this case, we'll pick the two tangent points and I'll just put in a random radius. And, and so now it's created this circle that is tangent to, to the two lines. Uh, if, if we were to create a line, there are other object snaps that tend to pop up. So we have the, the, the end point, we have the quadrant, we have the center, we have the midpoint. Uh, but what other features are there for us to choose? Okay, so let's let's take a look at that. Uh, and so the, the first thing to point out is uh, where the toggle is for our object snap. And it's down here on the bottom. Uh, we can see uh, that we we do have we do have uh, we do have it turned on right now and F3 uh, incidentally is the hot key for it so we can toggle that on and off using using that uh, but if we go into the little pull down here uh, we can see all of the the uh, features that are are available and if we actually go to the object snap settings then we can take a look at what all of the 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 actual uh, tags will look like and this is a great way to turn these on and off so if you're doing a lot of work that that perhaps you are using uh, a tangent or you need uh, something parallel or perpendicular uh, any one of these you can turn them on at will you can you can also turn them all on uh, and and say okay and what will happen now is you will be able to pick up any one of these features and is very tempting and, and a trap for, for new, new people using AutoCAD would be to turn these all on. But a word of caution that uh, when, you, when you get a more complicated drawing, this becomes an issue because when you go to hover over your, your drawing, uh, it'll try to pick up all of these features as you're going across and can actually stall your computer. So uh, keep keep that to a minimum, okay? So uh, for example, uh, I would I would avoid things like nearest apparent intersection parallel. Uh, I'd, I'd try to avoid uh, tangent, perpendicular, intersection, I leave extension on, uh, we'll turn off the quadrant and nodes, they're gone. Okay, so that leaves us uh, just these four. And so that's that tends to be okay uh, for most for most drawings. Okay, so here we are, we can, we can easily pick up some geometric uh, features. But what if I wanted a quadrant or or perhaps uh, a line from an endpoint and I wanted to, to draw it tangent to this uh, so you could go in and 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 select the the actual feature that you wanted or uh, the great shortcut here is hold down the shift and click your right mouse button and you can choose uh, which feature you want okay and this becomes really handy uh, when you want to when you want to pick out a feature you know, I've chose, I chose center and all I have to do is touch on the circle that I want and it will, it will pick that center point. And this works even if the toggle is turned off. So in this case, if I wanted a line and I'll shift right click and in this time I'll pick the end point and let's pick the tangent again. Okay. Fantastic. Uh, and that, that way we can, we can, 
we can pick and choose. And so if I had if I had my snap turned on, for example, then I would be able to pick, uh, you know, these points and then pick an end point if you would. All right. Uh, hopefully this is helpful to you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. If not, I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. Your constructive criticism helps me improve my work uh, and uh, improve the videos that I'm providing to you. Okay. Uh, as always, thanks for watching and uh, have yourself a great day. All right. Bye now.